Hey guys, what's up? It's Jordan and welcome back to another one. If I seem a little bit on edge or a little bit wired, it's because I don't drink a lot of coffee and I had my second pot just a little bit ago and I'm feeling it, like, like I'm feeling it. So I don't know exactly what I'm gonna talk about today, what we're gonna do. Um, I do know that I have good news, I have bad news, and hopefully something fun. Let's start with the bad news. Bad news first, yeah. Let's go, let's go look at what happened. So, it's really overcast today, which means that the light is crap. But this door right here, you know the big loft? I came up here the other day, and it was like that. I have no idea how many birds I lost. Um, I'm assuming about a dozen. The one good thing is, is there are actually a couple of them that are hanging around and coming back in to the side that isn't closed off. I've caught two of them so far. I knew I should have started filming when I came up the ladder because there was actually one sitting right outside uh, and he flew back out the door here. So there is another one. I'm, I've got high hopes for catching him, but now I have no idea how many birds there are, how many bands I lost, you know, all the good fun stuff. So that's the bad news is I lost about a dozen birds. Luckily, they're all just ferals. It's not like they're the owls or modinas or something like that. It's actually the next day. Um, I was looking through some footage and it is really, 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 really dark. So I thought I'd do this again. So uh, if something's different, which there is, it's actually two days and I'm putting them together, you know. But it, it's the same video, just better this way, okay? Hey, mama. Anyway, I'm in here with the frizzles because that's the good news. This guy is protective. Whoa, dude, you knocked the mic off the camera, dude. All right, anyway, he's got two eggs or he's taking care of two eggs right now. But I asked you guys a couple videos ago to help me name them. And it's been a while. And there weren't near as many names as, uh, you know, I thought there might be to pick from. And so I'm gonna narrow it down to two names for each because I don't know which one to pick. So uh, you guys will have to pick in between the two, let me know, and then we'll go with that. Somebody made me laugh, and so I gotta throw that out there. So the frizzles should be Fashizzle and Manizzle, you know, the frizzles. Oh, that was clever, I like that. Anyway, another one, because we got all red next door here, these being the neighbors, Bob and Midge, so I'm not sure which one to go with. So uh, those are the two names I'm picking in between. So if you think it should be Fashizzle and Manizzle, the Frizzles, comment that. If you think it should be Bob and Midge, stick with the whole 70s show theme we got going on for a bit, then uh, we'll go that way. But anyway, drop your comment, let me know which one you want. She done laid two eggs, and he's taking his turn, and he's always protective. Good bird. Well, the owls still haven't got their plan together yet. He just likes to go in there and dance in there. Carl and Mary haven't done anything yet, other than walk around and act cool. Hey, Red. Here, come here. Hey, 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 hey. Well, Red Foreman here. What's up, buddy? Yeah, that's about as far as he can fly. He is not talented in the whole uh, flying department for a pigeon. It's, it's really kind of embarrassing, I'm sure. The babies, though. Let's get you guys in some better light. There we go. Look at you. Getting all grown up. I love how the Modinas have these stubby little tails. Yep, they're getting bigger. A lot bigger. I think here, before too long, I'm gonna put them on the ground. That way uh, they don't try and jump out and fly down or something like that and get hurt. That way they can start to learn where the food and the water and all that stuff is too. That is the good news for today anyway. I'll try and zoom in here, but there is a pigeon right there and right there. And I guarantee you those are two that escaped or two of them that escaped. Hopefully I'll be able to to reclaim them. Hmm. I hate when I unnecessarily mess stuff up. I'm really good at it though. Uh, it looks like rain. So before we do anything else, we, I go take care of my outside chores real quick. 
which means feeding the goats. The goats are kicking butt, by the way. They are smashing through the pasture, taking a bunch of the big stuff out. It looks a whole lot better than it did earlier. Hi, Mama. Yeah? You wanna tell the world about it? They do know exactly what the grain bucket sounds like, too. Allow me to show you. Hey, how are you? I actually found a collar the other day that was uh, in my car. I don't know where it came from or why it was there, but I stuck it on that one. That one there is just a bully. She is the boss for sure, but she will cheap shot every single goat that's close to her. Notice how these guys are all on this side and she gets that whole side. That's because she is mean. Bam, just like that. She's a jerk. Look at how they have smashed out these weeds though. They have really done a good job. I'm very happy. I've been messing around a little bit. The owls, like I told you before, just are not reproducing. I think I had way too many cockbirds for the couple of hen birds that were in there and then the hens were just getting constantly harassed and just couldn't get locked down by a single mate. And so I'm trying to thin out some of the cockbirds. I'll throw them up with the big pigeon or in the big pigeon loft and they can bug them up there. So I've caught four of them so far. These two are young cockbirds, um, and then these two are a couple older cockbirds. They were doing their little coo and dance and beat everybody up routine, so went and caught them, put them aside, and now the last three are refusing to do anything that tells me what they are. One, two, three, and they're just standing there looking at each other and me, not making any sounds. So this check I know is a cockbird. I'm gonna throw him back just for some color fun. All right. I see that. Okay, bud. There we go. So this is going about the opposite of how I really, really hoped it would. There's two in here, two owls left and I'm pretty sure they're both males. I know that one's a male. That check there is. I'm pretty sure I saw this one cooing earlier. So uh, the reason that they weren't reproducing is because they're all dudes. Like I had sold them to me, so there were two pair. It's not working out though. I'm gonna take the ones I know are males, those other five, and put them up in the big loft. Calm down, guys. Yeah, join the chaos. You boomerang? What in the world? And one more. Well, ought to make for some interesting mixes up here at least, I guess. Though tomorrow, I actually thought yesterday that I was gonna be able to go and swap some birds out, but that didn't happen. Dustin had something come up that he couldn't go and help me out with that, but I'm hoping tomorrow that that will happen. So 15 of these guys are gonna go over to Dustin's and join his big loft, and uh, we'll bring home 15 different ones. Get some colors going on here. I haven't checked for eggs or anything in a little while, so they could be nesting, I think. I'm not sure. Haven't been paying that close of attention. So the footage you're about to see, I took yesterday. Um, it was overcast, it wasn't real bright which I thought was gonna be perfect, but when you're inside of a silo, it's kind of dark anyway. And I'm not sure how good the footage actually turned out, because I haven't looked at that yet. So it might be a little bit shorter than what I was really hoping for. I guess it is what it is though. So uh, we did catch two. It was pretty late when I got home, so I just chucked them in the loft because I thought I was gonna be able to trade birds today. And that didn't happen, so I'm planning on trading birds tomorrow and making that a different video, I guess. Okay guys, change of plans. Dustin uh, wasn't able to make it work tonight to go and swap out pigeons in the big loft and plan B is catching pigeons. The ones that live in there. Kind of excited about it. So, um, before I get started, I know a bunch of you guys are gonna see it and be like, hey, go back at night with a flashlight and you can catch them in the dark, it's way easier. Believe me, I want to. I was gonna try it 
and I thought, you know what, I better double check a couple things before I do that. So I got a hold of uh, Kansas Wildlife and Parks, and they told me what I was suspicious of, and you may not do that legally. But anyway, so we're gonna try it. It's almost perfect for this, actually. It's a little bit earlier uh, for this light, and so it's kind of rainy and a little bit dark out. So a lot of the birds I've noticed have already kind of done their thing for the night. Everything's kind of out of the fields. Nothing's out eating, nothing's out flying. Um, just everything's gone home. I'm not sure how it's gonna work out, but it's worth a shot anyway. So uh, it being a little bit rainy out, obviously has made the tin roof very slippery. So I'm gonna try not to break something because that's a possibility all of a sudden. All right, normally put my dead birds in this bag, but uh, we're gonna use it for stashing live pigeons tonight. If everything goes right anyway, hopefully that red one's here. I'm looking forward to showing you guys that one if it's here. I can hear them, I don't know if you guys can. I hope you guys can see, and I hope it don't drop my net. Oh! No! There won't one. I got one! missed him. Oh, I got another one. That's two. Oh. Oh, that's the red one. No. Got a blue check there. What do you know? Well, that one's a real dark one. It's got a little bit of red in his feathers, though. Oh, looks like a hen bird. Might have caught a pair. Oh, that's a baby. Look how gray the feet are. Boy, it's just really dark in there. There's really, that's hard footage. I hope you guys could see that because uh, it was fun to do. Maybe I'll just have to try it during the day. Now the red one, when I was up in there, came flying down and flew out one of these windows. I think it was that one. So what I'm thinking is, maybe I'll have Bob come along and have him down here with a net guarding that one and I'll go up to the top and see if I can catch him there. You know tag team that thing maybe we can catch that red one because i really really want that one that is how it all happened i did not get the birds filmed putting them in the loft it was really really dark but anyway if you like the video please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe you can i'm, I'm not going to ask you to hit the notification bell but uh but anyway yeah see you guys on the next one